Hello everyone, this is our second example for solving systems of nonlinear equations by elimination. We are given with 3x squared plus 6x minus y is equal to 7. We let this be our equation 1. Tapos yung pangalawa natin na 4x minus y is equal to negative 1. This is our equation 2. Yung equation natin is nonlinear kasi meron na tayong variable na merong exponent that is greater than 1. In this case, yung ating x squared. For this video, isasolve natin yung values ng x at y gamit ang elimination. Kaya tignan natin yung ating dalawang equations. Kailangan nating pumili kung anong variable yung tatanggalin natin. Either yung sa x or yung sa y ba. The best way to do this is piliin natin yung variable na mas kaunti yung terms tapos common dun sa dalawang equations. Tignan muna natin yung ating x. Meron tayong x squared tsaka x sa equation 1. Kaso nga lang sa equation 2 ang meron lang tayo ay x. Kaya kung ito yung pipiliin natin, may hirapan tayo na tanggalin yung x squared. But kapag pinili natin yung y, isa lang yun nasa equation 1 at equation 2. Pareho lang silang y. Kaya ito yung pipiliin natin, din ang susunod na gagawin natin is hanapin natin yung additive inverse nung given natin. Gawin natin reference yung equation 1, yung negative y, kapag sinabi natin na additive inverse, Ano yung ia-add ko sa kanya para maging 0 yung sagot? Dahil negative siya, kapag nag-add tayo ng positive y, magiging 0 na siya. Kaya kailangan dun sa equation 2 natin, makapag-produce tayo ng positive y. Kaso nga lang, ang meron tayo ay negative. Kaya ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung negative nitong buong equation. Kasi kapag kinuha natin yung equation 1, tapos ia-add natin yung negative nung equation 2, then we can eliminate yung y sa equation 1 at equation 2. Ang matitira na lang na variable ay yung x. Kaya gawin muna natin etong part na to, kunin natin yung negative ng equation 2. Isulat natin siya dito, kunin natin ang negative ng 4x, that is just negative 4x, tapos yung negative y, this will already become positive y, so this is plus y is equal to, yung nasa right side, since negative to, Kapag minultiply natin siya sa negative 1, ang makukuha natin ay positive 1. Then we have the negative nung equation 2. Then punta na tayo sa elimination process, let us perform equation 1 plus negative of equation 2. Isulat natin yung equation 1 natin na x squared plus 6x minus y is equal to 7. Then yung negative ng equation 2, eto na yung gagamitin natin, i-add natin siya dito. Itapat na natin yung pare-pareho yung variables para hindi tayo malito sa operation. Ilalagay ko na dito si negative 4x. Wala naman tayong value ng x squared sa equation 2. Then, plus y is equal to positive 1. Then, we perform our addition. Ibaba na lang natin yung 3x squared. 6x plus negative 4x. This is positive 2x. Tapos, ito yung ginawa natin. We eliminate y. Negative y plus y, this is just equal to 0. Then right side, 7 plus 1, this is equal to 8. Then isulat natin yung ating equation. So we have 3x squared plus 2x. Then para makarating na tayo sa isang quadratic equation, dahil meron tayo exponent na 2, ilipat na natin yung 8 dito sa kabilang side. Kaya from positive, that will become negative 8 is equal to 0. Ngayon, nasa quadratic equation na tayo, we can solve for the values of our x by factoring. For this one, mag-trial and error na lang tayo. Kunin natin yung factors ng unang term natin which is 3x squared. That is simply 3x times x. Then isipin natin ano yung pwedeng factors ng negative 8 na kapag minultiply natin kay x tsaka kay 3x, then we get their sum. Makukuha natin yung middle term natin na 2x. You may try out different values pero pwede tayong makarating sa factors ng negative 8 na negative 4 and positive 2. Kasi kapag minultiply natin yung nasa loob, negative 4 times x, this is negative 4x. Tapos yung nasa labas na 3x times 2, this is just equal to 6x. And then kapag inad natin tong dalawa, the answer is positive 2x na yung middle term natin. With this, masasabi natin na yung 3x minus 4 times x plus 2 are the factors of 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. Then isulat na lang natin yung ating right side which is just 0. Then para makuha natin yung values ng x, 
Isolve natin separately yung 3x minus 4 tsaka x plus 2, equate natin sila to 0. Then doing that, we have our 3x minus 4 yung una, equate to 0. Tapos yung pangalawa na x plus 2, siya naman yung equate natin to 0. Then solving for the values of our x, ang kailangan lang natin ay eto, so ililipat natin si negative 4 tsaka si 2. So we have 3x is equal to, from negative 4, this will become positive 4. Tapos eto naman, from positive 2, this will become negative 2. Okay na tayo dito, meron na tayong value ng x. Kaso nga lang dito, meron pa tayong 3. Kaya para matanggal natin siya, let us divide both sides of our equation by 3. 3 divided by 3, this is 1. 1 times x, x na lang to. This is equal to 4 over 3. This is another value of our x. Meron tayong dalawang values na nakuha. With this, we can solve for the values of our y. Balikan natin yung ating given equation. Para makuha natin yung y, pwede tayong pumili either equation 1 or equation 2. Pero it is much better kapag pipiliin natin yung mas simple. Yung equation 1, meron pa tayong tatlong terms dito. Kaso nga lang, equation 2, dalawa lang. And then, wala tayong exponent. Kaya, let us select yung equation 2 na for x minus y is equal to negative 1. Baba tayo. From our values ng x, isulat ko lang yung ating equation 2 which is for x minus y is equal to negative 1. Then, ang gagawin natin para makuha natin yung value ng ating y, dahil nakuha na natin yung x, isasubstitute na lang natin yung 4 over 3 saka yung negative 2 dito sa x ng equation 2. Simula muna tayo sa 4 over 3 na x, we have 4x minus y is equal to negative 1. Then, let us substitute 4 over 3 kay x. Isolve natin siya. So, we have 4 times 4 over 3 minus y is equal to negative 1. Then, multiplication na lang naman to. Let us do 4 times 4, that is just equal to 16 over 3. Then yung y natin, para maging positive na siya, ilipat natin sa kabila. Tapos yung negative 1 na nandito, ibalik natin dito. Kaya yung negative 1 will become positive 1. Tapos yung negative y will become positive y. Then solving for the value of y, since addition ng fraction to, kailangan pareho sila ng denominator para makapag-add tayo. Since kailangan natin ng denominator na 3, yung 1 na nandito, gagawin natin siyang 3 over 3. With this, magkakaroon na tayo ng parehong denominator na 3. We just add our numerator. So this is equal to y. Since makakarating na tayo sa ating final answer, pagpilitin na natin yung left side at right side, we have our y that is equal to 16 plus 3 that is 19. And then we copy the denominator 3. This is the value of our y kapag ang x natin is equal to 4 over 3. Medyo naging mahaba lang siya gawa ng fraction. Let us proceed with our second one. Mas madali na to. We have x is equal to negative 2. Still, gamitin natin yung equation 2 natin na for x minus y is equal to negative 1. Palitan lang natin yung x ng negative 2. Kaya this will become 4 times x is negative 2 minus y is equal to negative 1. Then, same process para maging positive yung y natin, ilipat na natin siya sa kabila, tapos yung negative 1, ibabalik natin dito sa left side. So, we have 4 times negative 2, this is negative 8. Yung negative 1 will become positive 1, tapos yung y natin from negative, this will become positive. Then, dahil makakarating na tayo sa final answer, para mas maging presentable siya, ilagay na natin yung y sa left side. Negative 8 plus 1, this is just equal to negative 7. If our x is negative 2, our y is negative 7. With this, nakuha na natin yung values ng x and y, dalawa sila. Let us represent it using ordered pairs. Yung una natin, ang x ay 4 over 3, tapos ang y ay 19 over 3. Then for our second ordered pair, ang value ng x natin is negative 2, ang y natin is negative 7. Ito na yung values ng x and y nung system of nonlinear equation. For our last step, let us check if tama yung values natin. Gamitin ulit natin yung masimple natin na equation which is 4x minus y is equal to negative 1. Ito na yung ordered pairs natin. Yung x na nandito, palitan lang natin ng 4 over 3 tsaka negative 2. Tapos yung y, papalitan natin ng 19 over 3 at negative 7. Then let us see kung tama pa rin yung equation. 
With this, let us do our checking. Isulat natin siya dito. Let us check our answer. Simulan muna natin dun sa merong fraction. Ang equation natin is 4x. Ang x natin will become 4 over 3 minus ang y is 19 over 3. So, sulat natin siya. This is minus 19 over 3 is equal to negative 1. Then, we perform our multiplication. This is 4 times 4. This is just equal to 16 over 3 minus 19 over 3 is equal to negative 1. Then, pareho na sila ng denominator na 3. Kaya, kailangan na lang nating i-perform yung operation subtraction sa numerator. 16 minus 9, that is just equal to negative 3 over 3. Kopyahin natin yung denominator. This is equal to negative 1. Negative 3 over 3 is just equal to negative 1. This is equal to negative 1. Tama yung values ng x and y natin na nauna, which is x is 4 over 3, y is 19 over 3. Then for our second one, gamitin natin ito. So we have 4x minus y is equal to negative 1. Yung x natin, palitan natin ng negative 2. So we have 4 times negative 2 minus yung y, palitan natin ng negative 7. So, this is minus negative 7, right side is equal to negative 1. Then, we perform our operation, 4 times negative 2, this is just equal to negative 8, then minus negative 7 is equal to negative 1. Etong part na to, we can represent it as negative 8, and then, dahil pareho silang negative, this is positive 7 is equal to negative 1. Then, finally, Negative 8 plus 7, this is just equal to negative 1, is equal to negative 1. Tama pa rin yung values ng x and y natin, which is negative 2 and negative 7. So with this, we were able to find yung solution ng ating given na system of nonlinear equations. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!